Here's problem 10, 8. At t equals 0, a wheel rotating about a fixed axis at a constant angular acceleration has an angular velocity of 2 radians per second. Two seconds later, it's turned through five complete revolutions. What is the angular acceleration of this wheel? All right, so we have a wheel rotating through. And what do we know about this, this rotation? Well, at when we start, it has an angular velocity already of 2 radians per second. So that is our initial angular velocity. Then we know it goes through 2 seconds. And it's complete 5 complete revolutions. A revolution is a measure of angle. So when we're talking about 5 revolutions, we're talking about our angular displacement. So we have 5 revolutions. Immediately convert that to radians per radians. So we have 2 pi radians per revolution. And getting rid of revolutions, that's going to be 10 pi radians or 31.4 radians. That's our angle. And then so we're asked for the angular acceleration. So what is that? So there's our four rotational kinematic variables that we need. And we look for the equation that has those four in it. That has displacement, time, initial angular velocity, and angular acceleration. And we choose that angular displacement is equal to initial angular velocity times time plus one-half angular acceleration times time squared. So solve this for angular acceleration. Let's uh, subtract the omega naught t from both sides and multiply it by 2, divide by t squared. So alpha should equal displacement delta theta minus omega naught t. All this times 2 divided by t squared. That's just from the algebra. So I have 2 times 31.4 minus omega naught, which is 2, times 2 seconds, all that divided by 2 squared. And if we do that, what do we get? 31.4 minus 4 is 27.4, divided by 2 is 13.7 radians per second squared. So that's our answer. 13.7 radians per second squared for the angular acceleration of the wheel as it goes from 2 radians per second and, and subtends through 31.4 radians. 13.7 radians per second squared.